<clears throat> okay. So before I dive into this topic, you need to share this broadcast, share it to your friends, share it to everybody you know, share it. This is Forex Strategy Factory. I'm gonna show you a real simple moving average strategy. And I know that you're gonna you're gonna like this video. Now, let me share my screen with you. Okay. I hope you can see my screen. So what I'm gonna do now is to build up this chart. Okay, let's build it up. First of all, what I'm gonna add on this screen is candlestick called the Aiken Ishi. Yes, this is it. The Aiken Ishi candlestick, I'm gonna add it to the chart. The next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go grab some kind of moving average. I have the moving average 50, but let me go down to using the moving average 10. So moving average 10. Okay, this is moving average 10. Okay, and this moving average 10, if you look at it properly, it is the price itself. Okay, it is the price. Okay, it shows you every pattern that is happening on the chart on the screen. This is a pattern. And this is another pattern right here. But I'm not going to talk about pattern right now. I'm going to talk about moving average. Now, let me go again and add another moving average. And this is going to be the moving average 50. You know, and this is good for you if you are just like a kind of a, a medium, medium term trader. You understand? Maybe intraday trader. You know, <clears throat> now what this is showing you is about the moving average crossover. If you can see it the moving average crossover. This is what I'm, I'm, I'm trying to talk about because every strategy I use as a Forex trader is moving average. A lot of people told me that they have problem with the moving average, okay? Mostly about the crossover. There are times that you get fake crossover. This is why I came out today to do this live video. Yeah, okay. Now, the first thing I'm gonna tell you about these two moving average, 10 and 50, is like, when you come on your screen and you see the 10 and 50 going to a particular direction, definitely that is where the price is going. Here, they are going down. And this is where the price is going at this point. Now, based on the other point, when you see a point around here where they are both going up, the price is heading up. Okay. Now, what is going on around here? You see, these two moving average, they are going down. The price is going down. And then the point right here, right here what is happening here now a beginner in forex is going to make mistake because you might never know where this moving average is going but i will tell you the moving average is about to start going up right here why because i have seen a pattern that tells me it is going to go up Many of you, as a beginner trader, you always make mistake. One thing that is causing your mistake on any strategy you are using, even if it's moving average, is because you don't have any tool that can tell you when is it time 
to come and pick a trade. Okay. Now, in this case, on the moving average, there are certain points where you are supposed to avoid, you know, you are not supposed to trade when it is going sideways. Okay. But with the naked eyes, you cannot even see it or know exactly when this moving average is going sideways. As a beginner, if you are not careful, you might blow your account away. So if I may proceed, exactly what is going to give you the hint that it is time to come and pick a trade is not every time you are going to pick a trade. But at what point are you supposed to pick a trade? Now, I will show you something. You have to share this broadcast, share this broadcast. I will show you something. This thing I'm going to show you is going to help you a lot. You know, I'm going to show you two things that is going to help you. Wait for me, give me a few minutes. Um, I'm bringing them out. Give me a few minutes, I'm bringing them out. I said, I'm gonna show you two things that is gonna help you if you are using the moving average. Because me as a forex trader, everything I use is always in alignment with the moving average. So what I'm gonna show you, first of all, this is gonna blow your mind up. You know, let me share, let me share another screen with you. Share another screen with you. Look at this. You see this tool you are looking at right here. This is a tool that really help you to stay away from the choppy market when it comes to moving average and all those zone in the market where you are going to blow your money. This tool helps you to identify them and stay away from them. This is why you have a blue line here, a reversal. One thing about the moving average is the price will always return to the moving average. And while the price is going to return to the moving average, you are supposed to avoid those type of zone. And how do you know if you don't have a tool? This is a tool that shows you or that calls your attention when it is time to come and trade based on the moving average. So what does this tool do for you? It draws a blue line of a drawdown where the price has complete a retracement back to the moving average. And it's going to alert you and tell you it's time to come and check out this pair. OK? Same like this one right here is telling you this is the time to come and take a look at this pair it gives you the direction it gives you that the price has pulled back to the moving average it's time to bring out this pair on your chart and wait for your entry confirmation same like this one here the price has pulled back to the moving average you wait for your entry confirmation you get in you make big profit let's go to the next you can see them this one going down the price has pulled back to the moving average time to wait for your entry confirmation you will get in, you will make profit. I will not say much and I will not 
continue to say much. Pay attention to the video and you will see you didn't waste your time. Your time is never wasted for watching this video. For those of you that love anything about pattern trading, this is pattern trading. This will help you to be on your chart looking for the patterns that is completed. It is gonna call your attention that it's time to come and check out a pattern is complete. Now, look at this date. This is 24 of this month. It's telling us by the time the market will open next week, this is a pair that is going up and the up have just started. What you will do, pick out this pair on your chart and put your entry arrow, entry signal to the buy direction. This tool is so powerful. It can do everything for you. You don't need any analysis. You don't need anything. Only this tool will do a lot for you. Settings. If you are the one you so impressed about what you are seeing on this video and you feel like, okay, what about the settings? When you get this tool, go to the settings, come back to this video, watch the way I put my own. Everything I love to trade is what I put inside this zone. I put the one hour time frame. I put the chart 1050 by default. You leave it the way it is. We go to the pattern. You will see the pattern. It's same. I just pick only few. You can pick everything if you like, but I pick only few. And I, I use the H1 because H1 is what I always use for trading. And then I said, this 10 and the lowest chart and reliability is by default. Don't change it. Don't twist it. Leave it the way it is. Every other settings, you should set it exactly the way it is that you can see on this video. If you get this tool, you can come back to this video and watch. Now, if you get this type of signal that this thing is calling you that it's time to come and trade, okay? And, and let's say this one that is the most recent now is calling you, this is the time that you are supposed to come and trade what are you going to do? You are supposed to wait for your own signal that will give you a sell signal on any of the pair that you have picked. Or even if it's the one that is buying, you can wait for your buying signal. But for all the things I see here, everything I see is selling. Even this one, it's ready to sell. You have to wait for your confirmation arrow. And if you don't have any confirmation arrow signal, where are you going to get a confirmation arrow signal? Arrow that will tell you to buy or sell. Now, I will share something else with you right now. Let me share something with you again. Let me share something with you again. One minute. One minute while I look for it. Okay. Let me share something with you. Okay. Now pay attention to this. This one is the one that will always call your attention that it is the signal is now it's time to take it. It gives you all the analysis. Okay. All the analysis you need, it's giving you all. And it's telling you to pick the signal with all the alert it has. When the first tool that I share with you gives you the drawdown that price has returned to the moving average, then you need this one to give you a confirmation of entry.
to that direction. And this will give you a perfect entry. You know, I will not talk too much about these things. I will not talk too much about them. You can use the link under this video you are watching to come to this page and you can, you can read about all these things. You understand? So for me, I feel like, let me just do this short live video, okay? So I can share little things with my followers and that's all. I believe it's gonna make sense to you and you find like, you find a little help for your Forex journey. When you come here and you buy this tool, you'll be given some kind of ebook for free as bonus, okay? If you pick any of this ebook and you put it on Amazon and you sell it, you make your own money, your money, you make it back in multiple fold. You got nothing to lose. So this is a short video, a short live video. And now we say, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, let the conversation be under the comment section of this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.